Welcome to our Bear Repair, episode four. What we're gonna to do today is fix a sound that's inside a bear. So this is our penguin bear, squeeze it, and the sound chip's inside, but it's not going off. So the batteries have run out, kids have had a good time, they've played with it, um, and now we're going to replace the batteries. This is a zippered bear, so there's a zipper behind it. It doesn't have a puller on it anymore, so you can't actually pull it, and you can't use it with your finger. It's a one-way zip, specially formulated so that the kids don't actually um, get their fingers uh, get their fingers inside the fluff. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a needle. Uh, I put some thread on it so we can use the thread, and we're going to put it through the little hole and under the lever. And I'm going to thread my thread through, then I'm going to hold both sides of that, and I'm going to pull it back. And it acts like our zipper puller there, and that's been done. Now the bear's open. I'm going to pull out the little the bag and search around looking for that sound chip down the back there. Here we go. I've nearly located it and the sounds in it. So this is a sound chip, needs new batteries. Um, pretty easy to pull apart. You've got tabs on both sides, tabs on both sides. You just put your finger in there and undo the tab. Um, and you can see inside there, well, this one doesn't have the battery in there. So we, don't have to, we can put that one back. So I'm gonna push it back in. Depending on which sound chip you have, some of them could have the battery inside there or at the back. We're gonna grab a screwdriver and we're gonna unscrew the screw that's at the back for the battery on this model. Um, they take little button batteries. Uh, each sound chip would be different, so just refer to the batteries when you pull it out of what you need to go and buy. Most times you get it from somewhere like the reject shop or a cheap store that's got these you know, sold by 10 or 20 at a time. So I'm gonna pull those batteries out here and get them out. Oh, they're out there. And I've got three batteries. So that's it. Let me grab another three batteries here from the side of the table. I've got three here. And I'm going to insert them back in the right way. The flat part on the spring. And make sure it works. And there you go. So all it needed was the batteries repaired. The children will play with that for another, you know, three to six months until they run out again, depending on how many times they press it. You know, with batteries and when the kids play with it, you know, they could run out in a matter of weeks if the kids press it every five minutes for the next day. So it's all about batteries. And you can go buy them from any cheap store. It's a very easy fix. Screwed that in there. Let's check it again. Excellent. So let's push it back inside the bag. Put it back to where they had it before at the bottom of the bear. And if you do this at night time, the kids don't see it. They'll just think that the penguin has come back to life overnight when they wake up in the morning. So let's lift the, the uh, zipper puller back up again. Pull it out with my fingers. To do it up, it's a little bit easier because it doesn't have um, a locking mechanism to do it up. And get it all the way to the top. And there you go, let's have a press. And all been fixed for a matter of $1.20.